Hey guys, Caleb's Cards here. Come at you with another TTM Mail Week recap episode for you today. Um, I actually have quite a few TTMs that came in, plus uh, we get to make a little return to the live mail opening. I got a stack here for uh, Saturday's TTMs. Well, technically Fridays, but uh, I went and checked uh, today. I did not see any mail, so uh, we'll open them today. Um, it's kind of kind of returning to like the mail days of old that I used to have. So having a whole bunch by the end of the week, or I have a whole bunch in one day. So, um, so far a bunch of the TTMs that I sent out recently are paying off, I guess. So that's a, a good sign. So, um, let's go ahead and start off this episode with some baseball TTM returns. Um, these are all photos. I sent a couple photos to Mr. Larry Stahl. Uh, former longtime outfielder, uh, Reds and uh, Reds, he's probably better known for. But we got him there in the Padres, a uh, picture of a 1970 Topps card, and then the front and back of a 1973. So very cool, Larry Stahl. I do not believe uh, I have him at all. Um, we got a return from Mr. Bob Savarine, who I believe is uh, in his later 80s. I remember right uh, infielder Baltimore Orioles nice a black and white shot looks like he just got taken out uh, during a double play try maybe and he also included a sign well not sign but uh, a letter on the back of my letter uh, with some scripture verses of his own which it's been a while since we have uh, had something like that, so we're gonna go ahead and look up Second Corinthians um, one one through seven, and go ahead. I've got my Google up here, so this is the Apostle Paul writing. Oops. Go to Bible Gateway. It's usually where I go to. Uh, this is the NIV version, that's all right, this will work. Um, it says, Paul called to be an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, and our brother Sosthenes, to the church of God in Corinth, to those sanctified in Christ Jesus, and called to be his holy people, together with all those everywhere who call on the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, their Lord and ours. Grace and peace to you from God our Father, the Lord Jesus Christ. I always thank my God for you because of his grace given you in Christ Jesus, for in him you have been enriched in every way, with all kinds of speech, with all knowledge, God thus confirming our testimony about Christ among you. Therefore, you do not lack any spiritual gifts as you eagerly wait for our Lord Jesus Christ to be revealed. That is 1 Corinthians 1, 1 through 7. And that's the inscription that Mr. Saver on letter. Uh, and it's his favorite scripture, he said, too, so that's very cool. So that's pretty awesome. Um, so I got a few more baseball here. Um, one, or one more. We got Mr. Steve Keeley, who signed a couple photos that I uh, printed off for him. Uh, played off and on uh, throughout the 70s with several, some different teams, the White Sox and the Angels. Um, he also had an extra custom card of his own, which is pretty cool. A little bit smaller than a four by six. And then uh, he did send a note back, but he asked me not to share just because it has his uh, phone number on it. So um, if we wanted to call and talk to him, I could. So there we go. Then we got some football TTMs here. Uh, I have a whole bunch of his cards, but I just pulled out four. I figured four is definitely plenty. Uh, former defensive tackle for the Kansas City Chiefs for a long time, Mr. Dan Salam Salamoa, I think. Um, so we got, I believe this is, I think this is his rookie card, 89 tops traded, maybe, I don't know, <laughs> may not be, on uh, 1990 Pro Set, on uh, 94 tops, and 1996 uh, Collector's Choice, so, and there was tons of other cards I could have chosen from, I've got a lot of Chiefs cards, but I just went with those four. We got former Eagles safety, Mr. John Sanders. 
So he signed a couple photos I don't think I've sent to him before. This as far as I remember, if I did, it must have been a really long time ago. So, very cool. And we got a Heisman Trophy winner from 1960, I believe. Mr. Terry, or 1962, it says right in the photo, I'm dumb. <laughs> Terry Baker. Played for, uh, I think it was Oregon. Oregon State or something like that. So... Went on, as far as I remember, went on to play professionally a little bit there. So very cool, Terry Baker. Then we have some celebrity successes. Um, I got a 5 by 7 signed by a gentleman who was in the movie Eight Men Out. I uh, sent back in January to Mr. James Reed, who signed up there in the corner. I I could be mistaken, but I think he played Eddie Psychot. Maybe. But I might be wrong. <laughs> Uh, I forget, so but that's a pretty cool one. Then we got a singer. He actually signed the back. This is Mr. Claude Gray, country music singer. Uh, he's famous for having a hit country gospel song called The Family Bible, which I've definitely grown up listening to his version as well as many other people who have covered that song. It's a very popular one. Um, he also uh, just wrote on the back of the photo here the nice note and signed it. And... He included a CD, and it's got his um, hit song on there. Where is it? Number 12, The Family Bible there. So really cool, so we can definitely take a look at that. So very cool. That's, I think, about the third or fourth time that I've had somebody send me a, a CD. So um, that's really awesome of him to do that, so I'll definitely have to uh, send uh, him a thank you note uh, for that so thank you Mr. Gray and we'll end off the video with some TTMs we'll open up and get my live reaction I haven't looked at these this one actually came uh, to my parents place I just picked this up a few minutes ago um, it's coming back from Austria so I have I'm assuming it's an email I have no idea who it could be or how long ago it was sent out. Must have been a while. Um, if it's got my parents' address. So let's see. It's a postcard. Oh, okay. So this, this is actually a recent one. I think, yeah. This is Tatiana Calderon. Um, actually, what, what she does is uh, you can request on her website uh, an autograph and uh, she'll either send a hero card or something like this uh, or just a photo and then you just pay uh, the shipping which is like uh, it was like a dollar thirty eight or something like that two bucks or something so um, kind of not technically free but uh, you just cover the shipping uh, to get to you and she sends something out to you so Tatiana Calderon uh, up and coming uh, I think Formula One racer Maybe. Yeah, I think. <laughs> so very cool. She's from, uh, although I think she was from Spain, but maybe she was in Austria or something. I don't know. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that was actually a recent one. So I just, it was linked to my PayPal. So that's why I went to my parents' address. That's why. This one we got coming back from Boston, Massachusetts. And it was sent out in June of this month, so this is a pretty quick return, looks like. Should be Mr. Steve Casper, hockey player. I went through my hockey cards and found uh, the cards I had of him. Uh, looks like it was just three, so. Um, well, there we go. Steve Casper. Cool. He's always usually a pretty pretty good signer. Then we have Santa Ana, California. This one was sent out also in June. It is uh, Mr. Jim uh, Campanis Jr. And I messed up and I do see it now, that is Jim Sunberg. Um, so, he wrote that on the back. My bad. I'm uh, sorry, Mr. Campanis. 
Um, you know, he uh, played for Team USA. His dad also played uh, professionally in the 60s. So um, we had to, I messed up and <laughs> son of a Jim Sunder photo. Um, I do see that now, though. It was tagged as him, and I was like, it doesn't. It looks kind of like him, but I, I don't know. <laughs> so I, I should I definitely look more like us from the 80s, and he played more in the 90s, so I should have known better. Oh well. As Johnny Serena puts it, uh, we still got to report the the good, the bad, the ugly, and the stupid. <laughs> so uh, there we go. So shout out to Johnny. Um, this next one's coming back from Austin, Texas, and it was sent out also in June. So we're getting a bunch of quick successes, which is good, but also kind of bad because that means uh, fewer returns are going to come in the later videos until I send more out. This is Mr. Kenneth Sims. Um, so I got I've got them a long time ago on some Patriots cards. So this time I went the route of sending some photos with him in the Texas Longhorns uniform. Thought that'd be kind of cool. And then um, I accidentally printed a four x four, but that's okay. <laughs> Still looks cool. So Kenneth Sims, pretty solid defensive tackle in college and the NFL. Then we got Minneapolis, Minnesota. We got it come, uh, sent out in June as well. I think all of these are June. Probably the only one that isn't was that uh, James Reed. Here, this is a pretty cool one. This is uh, a journeyman catcher, Mr. Brad Golden. And he holds a distinct uh, place in MLB history as being the second player in MLB history at the time to be traded for himself. <laughs> so how crazy is that he got traded from, uh, I think it was the, the Mariners to the Yankees for a player to be named later, and that player was him. <laughs> so he was still on the Yankees. Or vice versa, or something like that, I can't remember, but yeah, so pretty pretty interesting. <coughs> uh, next up we got Kansas City, Missouri. Also June is when it was sent out. Oh, we got somebody who charges, I guess. That was an... I'd only seen one person send him. Uh, I guess he charges $20 for a pick that size. He didn't have very many pictures. This is uh, Clarence Walker, or Foots Walker, as he's called. So I'm not going to be sending $20, sorry. <laughs> Can't afford that, uh, neither do I. That badly need... A Foots Walker autograph. So, um, I guess he just signs cards for free. I have no idea. Um, got North Texas, Dallas, Texas. Uh, sent out in June. I uh, sent a bunch of basketball. Out, that's kind of why I don't send basketball out to me. Either don't respond or uh, I want money. Uh, we got former top prospect Dave Berg. Uh, I think he was in the Blue Jays system first, but this one he's with the Marlins. Uh, he roved all around. Uh, kind of a career minor leaguer, but came up a few times in the MLB. But he was an MLB player nonetheless. Um, was able to make it there. So definitely always love being able to get any MLB player if I can. And next one, this one's kind of thick, has a bunch of stuff in it, so I saved it for last. Um, they threw an extra stamp on there. Um, I don't think they had to do that, but that's uh, nice and appreciative of them. Uh, no postmark. It's a mystery because I think that those stamps are trackable. Uh, this was sent out in June. Let's see. It looks like it's going to be Gene Banks. Uh, I believe that's a basketball player. I'll do that one, so 
There we go. It looks like there's some extras in here. Oh, it's like a pamphlet. Um, I sent three photos. Uh, I just kind of decided to get some cool ones out there. Got one with the bowls. A um, couple with the spurs here, signed in silver. And this one, he's uh, in college, it looks like, dunking on a uh, North Carolina Tar Heel, maybe. So that's pretty cool. Um, there's actually, I think this, this photo he used for protection, but it looks like uh, it was supposed to come out a photo for him. It was an imprint of this photo right here. There you go. So we got Mr. Gene Banks, a nice pamphlet here. Played for Duke. So he was a pretty solid basketball player. It looks like he has a, a podcast going on. So if you want to go check that out, I will make sure, since he went through the extra time to put an extra stamp on there and all kinds of stuff, I think he deserves a little little shout out there. So if you guys want to go check that out. So thank you so much, Mr. Banks, for signing for me. Uh, really cool. Those are some really awesome autographs. And uh, I have a stack here of World War II autographs that I need to share from Scott Masters. So, um, until I actually do a separate video on them, I need to at least pull one. Just one for the video. So, this is Bert Shinwell. And as you can see, he's signed there and has a couple pictures. It looks like he was able to meet uh, Scott Masters' class in person there. Um, he was born in Glasgow, Scotland on June 28th, 1925. Bert has two sisters and one brother. He was the third child. Unfortunately, the Great Depression took away his father's job as a tailor, and Bert left school at the age of 14 and started working to earn money. When the war came, he and his older brother both enlisted in the war. Bert served in an armored regiment and was part of a Sherman tank crew. He and his crew fought their way from Normandy all the way to Germany. When the war ended, Bert came to Canada and met his wife, where the two of them built a life together. Bert is now 95 years old, living in the Sunnybrook Veterans Wing, where a group of Crestwood students interviewed him in January 2020. So that's really cool. So thank you, Scott, again, for uh, these World War II autographs. And thank you, Mr. Shinwell, for your autograph and uh, for your service. Uh, definitely really cool um, I, and again always I will put a link down below to Mr. Scott Masters uh, website if you want to go check out some other interviews he's done and his Facebook page too you can follow and get some updates there um, should be a lot of fun if you guys have a chance to go check those out so thanks for watching everybody I hope you have a good day and uh, really appreciate you checking out this video hope you have a good rest of your weekend and I'll see you all later bye